The role of the state in the economy is a perennial question in economics. Towards the end of the 20th century, it seemed to have been settled again in one direction. The, the, or a lot of people thought that, that the less state intervention, the better, basically. The state's there to create a, create a social safety net, to enforce an inflation target, but you basically let the private sector deal with all production decisions. I think two things have happened, well, three things have happened to bring that into question. One is the recession. We seem to have had a complete old-fashioned financial collapse caused by the private sector. Almost everybody agrees the problem originated in bad decisions taken by private sector companies, mainly financial ones. So that doesn't sit very well with the idea that the financial sector always gets things right. Second thing is we've had the rise of China and India, uh, which to some extent confirms the sort of free market drift of the post-communist era because clearly they used a lot of free market policies. Uh, you know, building basically in China, basically building a capitalist on economy on top of the pre-existing communist one. They left the communist firms in, in, in existence. They didn't abolish them like they did in Russia. They just said, you guys can stay, but we're going to build a capitalist economy on top of that. And we're going to have some state direction, you know, through the export zones, etc. So it's a sort of hybrid model, I would say, between sort of Thatcherism and Stalinism, or whatever you want to call it. That raises questions, you know, about whether industrial policy can work, which, again, by the late 1990s, the consensus of opinion in the US, in any way, was that it doesn't work. Now, people say, well, how do you fit China into that framework? And then the third set of questions which have been raised, and this may be more of an American view, is um, just some old-fashioned some old-fashioned market failures have re-emerged. Climate change, for example, is ultimately an example of market failure. The people who are emitting the pollutants are not internalizing the social costs. It's a classic case of sort of Pigouvian economics and market failure. Healthcare in the US, you know, we have an enormous healthcare system which emits 30, 40 million people. So there are, you know, these are just, and that's 15% of the economy, which doesn't seem to be behaving like a classic free market industry should. So I think if you take all those three things together, you know, you are getting a sort of, the pendulum is swinging back. Obviously in the 1980s, the collapse of communism and Mrs. Thatcher and Reagan, the pendulum swung very much to the right. I think, you know, now it's moving back towards the left. How far it will go, we'll see. I, you know, I, I don't think there's any chance of it swinging back to the sort of uh, consensus that you had in the post-war years, sort of 1945 onwards, that the, you know, sort of mixed economy vision, certainly in Europe. Um, but maybe it will, I don't know. I don't have a strong view of that. But, it, but it just, things are a lot more flexible intellectually and sort of socially than they were 10 or 15 years ago. And I, I think that's a positive development.